we've just started our sightseeing and we're uh, headed into Budnath. And it's right around the corner. It's always good to see it. Haven't seen it since 2014, since before the earthquake. Now, does uh, Budnath mean much to you? Yeah. Yes. What, 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 tell me about that. What is it? What it is um, a Buddhist spiritual place. And also, it's um, world known as a world heritage site. So, um, a lot of people, including Buddhists and Hindu and all the communities, come here and um, just walk around and make a wishes and turn the fair wheels for good karma. Yeah. Give me some first impressions here. Oh my gosh. Well, I need to find another adjective other than wow because I've already <laughs> overused it. Overused wow, okay. Yeah. We're going to go spin the big prayer wheels in front of me here. No, 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 no. Is it no, coming no. by so bad? I'm no. so lucky. <laughs> it's been so too many years. Yeah. Good morning. It is, let's see, it's early. It's like 3.50 in the morning. So this morning we are flying to Lukla to start the trek. I was hoping to sleep in a little bit longer, but jet lag is such that I'm still up early. And so I guess I will just finish packing, arranging my gear and uh, be ready to go by the time we leave for the airport at 5.30. I'm excited because I haven't flown in a helicopter before and it's something that I have always wanted to do. So we are gonna try to take the first flight out of uh, the Kathmandu Airport and go right to Lukla.
incredible. Okay, so we have just had a lovely lunch here in Lukla, and we are now going to head out on the trail. You guys ready? Yeah, we're ready. Stoked. Shall we do it? We're stoked. Let's we're do it. We're trekking. All right. Fall. After you. Okay, off we go. Don't fall down. <laughs> We're already lost. Now, how are you feeling about being back here? Yeah, it feels wonderful. Yeah. I'm really excited about hiking up. Now, is this the smallest group that you've ever taken up here? Yes, yes. Very well known, all friends, and a very small group. Almost kind of family. Crossing the first little creek here. come up to my favorite bridge in the world. And this bridge is very, very important to me because in 2014, my wonderful, talented friend, Monica, was crossing the bridge in front of me, let this helicopter pass. Monica was crossing the bridge in front of me and I happened to be filming uh, behind her as she was walking across. When she got to the middle of the bridge, she took her kata and she tied it around the bridge, right in the, in the center point. Fall of 2018, which is almost exactly a year ago as uh, filming this, the company Airborne, they make those vitamin C fizzy tablets to fight off colds. They licensed a clip uh, of Monica walking across this bridge. It was two seconds long, just two seconds long. And every time that commercial airs, they got to pay me for it. It has made me a nice chunk of change. Thousands and thousands of dollars. <laughs> So it's very, very good to be back. Love this bridge. For many reasons. Not just the money reason. This is one of my favorite places. Yeah. Why is that? I don't know. Just because of the vibes that gives me. So what do you feel? Can you explain it? Or can Peace you describe it? Peace. That's nice. Peace is always nice to find. almost to our hotel for the night yes. and it's called the Shangri-La yes, Sherpa Shangri-La Sherpa Shangri-La yes. and of course we stayed there in 2014 but it has been upgraded like many of the other places around here uh, and you said that the new building is deluxe deluxe and super deluxe super deluxe <laughs> and the old building was super deluxe according to me yeah. I know John yeah. Coleman and I were very pleasantly surprised uh, when we walked into our room, so I can't imagine what this one's gonna be like. But first, we have to cross another bridge. It's probably about 10 minutes. 
Don't quote me on that. Shangri La or bust. <laughs> this is this building right here. That's the new section? Yes. Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah. Pretty swanky. We stayed in this wing last time. Namaste. Hi, I'm John. It's me, Mods. Nice to meet you. Sure. Uh, yeah. So is, is it recording? Okay. Yes, it's recording. Yeah. How are you feeling? Uh, I'm feeling good. Um, I'm glad to be here. The first day and the second day are usually pretty hard for me simply because it's warm and I don't like I don't like hiking in warm weather. Oh, yeah. I do better when it's closer to uh, freezing. Okay. Hey, thank you so much. <laughs> so, how was your day today? It was, it was really fun. Hiking, finding that, you know, same trail that I used to walk. Alright. Yeah, this is a little different. So, you see, you see any changes in this trail? Oh yeah, a lot of a lot of a okay. upgraded tea houses and lodges and you know infrastructures and trails are nicer. Nice. Yeah. yeah. So uh, what about you? Uh, how how many times you've been have you been up here? So it's my third time. Your third uh, time. I haven't been on this side for much because I usually go on on western side of Nepal. Okay. I usually go on Annapurna. Annapurna side and Manasolu side. So today it was it is one of my. Best day of my life. So oh. yeah, because uh, it was really amazing, like boarding on same helicopter with you guys. So I enjoyed a lot. It was really thrilling, and I saw my home on the way, so I missed it, kind of thing. And yeah, overall it was great. And uh, this was uh, partially damaged. It was uh, brand new. Yeah. And in 2015, it got destroyed by the or uh, damaged by the earthquake and then rebuilt. Yeah. I love it here, it's so pretty. Yeah. <laughs> Got all the... If you could uh, change into one of our comfy clocks. Right. And uh, so that you can wear that in dining hall too. You don't have to keep changing clothes. Very nice. <laughs> so we have a heating mat. So when you're uh, at my time, you can just turn it on. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So this is very nice. I mean, my goodness, this is a queen size bed. I wasn't expecting a queen size bed. I was expecting another couple of uh, twin size beds. So this is all carried up by hand, most likely, or by helicopter. But probably this all came up compressed on someone's back. It's just amazing. Let's take a look outside. And now we're back to reality of uh, 2020, wearing masks. Um, I'm here with Dawa. Uh, thanks so much for watching this video. In addition to being uh, a, a guide and having a trekking company, Dawa owns a restaurant called the Himalayan Bistro here in Fort Collins, Colorado. So we're just meeting here today. Um, but uh, Dawa, I wanted to finish this video by kind of giving people a preview of next, the next episode, which has not been edited. 
But as far as I remember, it's going to be the hike up to Namche. Yes, it is right. And uh, that's one of the a big elevation gain from uh, uh, Park Dingma to Namche. It's about 26, uh, 100, 100 vertical feet. Yeah, so was there, was there any moment that you remember that you're looking forward to seeing? We um, flew the drone oh, over the right. Namche Bridge. <laughs> yep. So and uh, that's uh, you know we had a really great um, yeah, footage from the drone. So I think that'll be uh, that'll be awesome to see. Cool. Um, I hope you enjoy this limited series. Um, I don't know how many episodes it'll be from the 2019 trip, but um, yeah, we'll just take it from here, see how it goes, and I uh, hope you enjoy it and hope it uh, gets you into the Himalayas because right now Nepal is locked down <laughs> due yeah. to the virus. So enjoy. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. And uh, I'll have a next episode out shortly. Thanks so much, and thanks, Dal, for having thank me here. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Enjoy.